I have many questions about Booksmart. Okay. Uh, a, what was it like to work with Olivia Wilde? Because I am totally in love with her. Caitlin as well. I've I've been uh, watching her for the last couple of years, and she's just incredible. And and how was the shoot like with that many young actors? And and what were the difficulties? And what were the best days? Please yeah. fill me in. I think you and Olivia would be like you'd be so drawn to each other because oh. she's just as fearless as you are right. in her work on screen and off screen. I can tell. I think it was such a beautiful kind of, uh, I felt like once I worked with Greta, I'm not sure if you feel the same way, Greta Gerwig, I was sort of like, where do I go from here? Because <laughs> yeah. I've hit the top and this is like my second movie ever and what am I yeah. gonna do? And then Olivia came to me with Booksmart and I was like, this is it. This is, <laughs> this is you, you find someone that's you know amazing in her own beautiful way. Yeah. And Olivia is a remarkable director. She's so fresh and energetic and just, I felt I was believed in her so much that I, I was really intimidated by my character. I think she's, she's really tough. I wonder if you felt the same with Amy. Like yeah. she can be a bit intolerable yeah. sometimes. And she's sometimes like the one being like, we can't stay at this fun party wherever mm. the audience mm. is enjoying themselves. Yeah. Like yeah. we have to move on to yeah. the next thing. And so I was really intimidated by that because I'm used to playing kind of the, the sweet one. Mm -hmm. And so to play the very, very motivated, strong, sure. fierce one was very new to me. And it was Olivia's kind of confidence in all of us that I think made us all rise to the occasion. And working with Caitlin was, a dream. I mean, truly a special partnership yeah. for me in my life. Like we lived together while we were filming Amazing. the movie. And so we were just like on top of each other all the time. Yeah inseparable with like brush our teeth together and run lines <laughs> and eat pancakes and it was there's really a lot Magical. of us up there and I think you kind of it kind of had to be that way for well, it to you work. can see it you can see it. it's not yeah. a false in any way friendship but it looks totally real yeah it was it was really it's I mean as you said I I've admired her work for so long yeah. too and I was so intimidated I felt the same way with Saoirse I'm just like yeah. These are extraordinary it's terrifying. young women and it's how do totally I terrifying. what am I doing here and the worst thing is is that you know every single aspect of their face because you've watched them all the oh, time and you know that it's going to be the most amazing but the most terrifying thing to act with them because my big fear was that I was just going to be like yeah for, I forgot my lines I'm just like oh oh sir, acting I'm sorry to be, <coughs> sorry I, it's, it's comforting to hear you say that yes. because I see you as so fearless no it's no, thrilling no. to know you all no, no 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 I uh but th what you were saying with Meryl earlier I, I remember just watching her for an entire scene and then realizing that I hadn't been acting and I'd just been like <laughs> saying my line every now and then and Greta came in she was like hey so um let's go again <laughs> so we're gonna so we're gonna <laughs> yes, right? very true, very true. Um, but no, so when did you shoot Books Booksmart? We shot it um, like early summer of last year in LA, and it was almost entirely night shoots, which was what? It, yeah, I mean, it takes place all overnight basically. So we did three and a half oh weeks of nights, which was crazy and fun. And you asked earlier about like the young cast. Yeah, it what was, was that like? It was just so special because it's a group of young people some of which are i already knew and one of which is my best my right. girl plays my enemy in the movie triple a is my best friend in the world no so way. that was so fun but um molly gordon who's a dream but we just it was just this crew of young talented fresh so different so spectacular um beautifully assembled by allison jones the incredible casting director and it was just so special just to watch everyone shine yeah. and it I think Olivia and Greta share that and that every character in all of their movies just has, has a moment mm. that makes them clear and complex and lovely and someone you want to watch yeah. for a whole movie of their own. I also feel like with films that size, everybody is so invested in the script that it it, it becomes like this, everybody's making it. Totally. It's a everybody's labor of making love. it and everybody's lifting things and everybody's eating everyone's food. <laughs> And it's just, you're there for one sole purpose, which is you all believe in the script and you all believe in, in the team and you'll do anything Passion. for it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Just like pouring all your love into it at four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I remember starting the scene where uh, we, were, we were running away from the yacht and we call Malala for the first yeah, time, yeah. which is like a big moment. Yeah. And it, we started it at four in the morning and I was like, Caitlin, this is going to be in movie theaters. Like it, it hit me, it was like, all the stuff we're doing at four in the morning is like actually in the It's film. actually gonna happen. And people are gonna see our faces yeah. at this time. At this time, and well, my brain is 
fully working for sure. But your comedy in it was so quick and so pacey that the the, the thought of you working through the night is like <laughs> mind boggling to me because I switch off past like three. Oh, I'm so I go to bed at like ten. Olivia is like, she is a, the energizer bunny. She is so full of life. At I mean, that any kind hour. of terrifies me. I don't think the woman me. sleeps. Um, I'm trying to think about her schedule, and I'm like. With, no, when you sleep. Children I directing know. and night Acting. shoots. What? what are you, where are you going with that? <laughs> um, but she was incredible. And Katie Silverman, who wrote the script, right. the two of them, had a partnership very similar to the one that Caitlin and I were portraying no on way. screen. So it was so like literally right behind the monitor were these two incredibly different but lovable, brilliantly smart women that Amazing. were leading the charge. So that was really, really one of a kind. That's cool to see as well, the support system and yeah. the, the head of the ship. That's very cool. What kind of car belongs in a museum? What the fuck, Jared? I said door to door. Museum of death, because it's smog is killing us all. Fuck! You all right? They spend every minute together. It's so weird. We spend every minute together. We are equals. When you first read Booksmart, were there any other teenage comedies or films that you uh, took inspiration from? What did you grow up watching? Yeah. Uh, how, how has any of that impacted you as a performer? It's so interesting because Caitlin and I talk so much about it and uh, most of the memories we had of female friendships mm -hmm. from our childhood were on TV. They weren't on screen, so like Lizzie McGuire, like <gasps> That's So Raven. Yeah, they did. Me like, too. They were so, you know, prevalent yeah. in our lives and that's what we thought about, yeah. but there weren't that, that many. many all the films were mostly male-led, so yeah. um, Mean Girls, I grew up yep. quoting incessantly, yep. um, and it's amazing, and we've watched so many since then. Olivia showed the whole cast and crew um, Fast Times at Ridgemont High before we started, <laughs> yes. which was like the night before we started shooting, we like went yes. in with that energy, which was amazing. Um, but for both of us, I think, comedically, Bridesmaids is yes. always like my... Heartbeat. Go, it's your Bible. <laughs> it's my Bible, it's my I Bible. could watch it. I think I've already seen it 900 times, yeah. but... Um, to see that many women given their own film and all allowed to be so different in their comedy. And that's what I love about Booksmart is that Olivia really managed to manages to capture all these different comedic styles mm -hmm. and not force <clears throat> one to meet the other, but really let each one have their own life. And sure. I love that. And I think Bridesmaids does a very similar thing where oh each of the women has their own take on the world, yeah. take on humor and how to bring it to life. But it all works in the same kind yeah. of space. I want to know, I wish I could have seen your face the first time you read. Do you say Midsommar or Midsummer? Sometimes I've done press and I've been like, so Midsommar, and then two minutes later I'll be like, Midsummer. And <laughs> so either, I, I basically an caused them the most amount of stress because I mispronounced <laughs> the name a hundred times. But I wish I could so have just feel? been a fly on the wall watching you read that script for the first time. <laughs> I was... I was shooting a uh, Little Drummer Girl in, we were in Greece at the time, and um, I got sent the script, and my agents were like, you, this is nuts, you need to read it. I was like, okay, okay, good. And I'd just come home from, from a night shoot, same thing, I got back at like 6 a.m. in the morning, and I was FaceTiming Ari in a couple of hours' time, and I said, let's just crack it out, and right. I don't want to... Read it, and then I just want to. I want to read it, and then and then talk to him. So I remember reading half of it before I went to the night shoot, and then half of it when I got back. And I remember that entire night shoot. I was like, but what happens? <laughs> and then when I got back, every single page I turned, I was like, oh, yeah. no. Okay, that's how I envisioned you doing it. So I'm thrilled to hear that. Totally, the and to the point where I felt like the last page of that was just like 200 words that were just. They all were contradicting one another and then and then vibing with one another and I had to reread the last page three times to make sure that I wasn't just tired and I wasn't right. reading it right but honestly the last chunk was Danny is happy free unhappy depressed <laughs> screaming uh crying vomiting bliss orgasmic and it was like this I, I, I felt all of that yeah and it, but it was just like <laughs> I, I remember I had to read that last page oh about God. three times be like am I getting this right and but yeah my mouth him like how do I what was are like we gonna that do? yeah how are we gonna do this sorry <laughs> did you do the two films back to back yeah how close yeah, together uh, like I so I went to Budapest and I shot Midsummer for three months and then I I, I flew to Boston and I, I shot the wow. next day, well, did my makeup test. What was that like? Well, I basically had to call both both directors and plead them to help save my life. <laughs> That's how dramatic I was. I was like, you have to help me. Like scheduling. Yeah. 
which is always, as you know, a nightmare. But I remember like melting down on the phone to Greta and Greta was like, sweetie, what's happened? And I was like, the filming won't work. And she was like, oh, okay. Uh, uh, is everything okay other than that? And I was like, yes. And she was like, oh, we'll okay, well, we can try and make that work. I was like, so Phew. sweet. But yeah, I finished uh, midsummer and then I flew and, and, and they had already started. They already got going. And I, you were just uh, hopping on the train. Yeah, but I have to say that I, that Amy was all the therapy I needed. It was, it was perfect. Cleansing. It was like I got to be this child for three months and, and I didn't have to think about flowers or having a mental breakdown or, you know, a field. I, uh, I moved straight on. We were, so it was, you were cold. Yeah. You went from like very hot it to was, very cold. It was perfect. <laughs> but yeah, similarly to you, reading, reading the script was just so exciting and, and there's nothing more thrilling than reading a script and knowing that you can, that you want to give it a go. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine that film with anyone else at the center. You really like, you just have this beautiful clarity in your work that is so grounding. Oh, and wow. I think that film is such a testament to that. So thank God you made it work. I'm thrilled <laughs> for my personal viewing pleasure. Thank you. Well, I'm, we can thank Ari and Greta. Yeah, I'll And call. my meltdown on the phone. <laughs> Amazing.